Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Tuesday. It's January 4th. This will be our chart lesson for today. And real quickly, if you can tell by my voice, I'm not I'm not on the top of my game. If you're wondering why there was no chart lesson yesterday, and uh, it's because I contracted COVID the last few days of the uh, right, basically on New Year's. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and so I'm feeling a hundred percent better, but I'm not a hundred percent. So um, it's like a light case of the flu, basically. But uh, I felt good enough to at least come into the office today. I wasn't planning on doing a chart lesson, but I had the chart done, had the, the trades uh, noted here. So I'm just going to put this up. Uh, I might even just explain each one real quickly just tell you what it is uh, I'm probably not gonna go into any re real details I want to keep this to about five minutes because uh, I'm just I'm still pretty weak um, may or may not do the same thing tomorrow it just depends on how I'm feeling I'm hoping by the first of next week I'll kind of be back to full speed and kind of back in the saddle so to speak and uh, but until then uh, our chart lessons are going to be pretty well abbreviated and some days we may not even have one so uh, I got to kick this and get over it, and so it's uh, it's about 3:30 now Central Standard Time, so the market is not closed yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do this and, and go home and get back to resting again. T take me some more medicine and get back to resting again. So uh, I appreciate all the well wishes. Uh, had a great holiday, other than the tail end there. I caught this. Uh, I went to the soup uh, sugar bowl in New Orleans. And I'm pretty sure that's where I contracted it at the game there. Everybody at the game was sneezing and hacking and coughing. And before it was over, I felt awful. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm much better now. Uh, I'm on the mend, but I'm just not 100%. So I may have to pause this occasionally to clear my throat as well. You may not notice it on your end, but I'm going to buzz through this pretty quickly. Like I said, I'm going to keep it under five minutes. So, But just want everybody to know why I was not back yet in case you hadn't heard and if you've been looking for the videos why we haven't had any up but that's why uh, I just wasn't able to yesterday today I felt a lot better and um, but let's let's I'm gonna run through these trades real quickly mostly only shorts this was a big time uh, a larger range you can clearly see the midline here price is reacting off of it um, here's the highs here's the lows uh, we really had a fairly nice downtrend for the most of the day until late afternoon then we rallied some and we've been selling off again and again you can see the midline coming into play after 2.30 there so 2.30 is our cutoff time so again I apologize for my voice and um, I'm just hoping most of you be happy that what we're getting here is not a whole lot but it's all I got for uh, another day or two so um, 7.30 came, or 7 o'clock came right over in here, but uh, you just don't want to trade this. Um, this failed break lower. You, generally, you want to wait on a high or low, because you see right here, if you'd have taken that failed break out, you would have got burned. Um, and you don't, you get a higher low here, but it's it's right into the highs again. So there's just no nothing really going on until finally... You, you did have this channel working up you got a break and you finally made a new high right here and then notice you tried to go higher once twice I really counted uh, this as the failure it's a second entry short right here and um, and even though you got a little jog right there that looks like all one move up so I counted that as a second entry short and a failed second entry long if you went short there it would have worked but I think you were better to wait and so I like going short there and then you get another second entry here with a nice signal bar there's a lower high here again with another great signal bar but it quickly came back and turned down again and so there you got a failure so if you didn't enter here definitely you should have entered here uh, and then we're it's it's really hard to know what was going on right across here um, there's no real good setups to go short there was a fail. You could have looked at this as a failed second entry long here, but I just think you're better off to wait because we did just bounce off the lows. Uh, 
And of course, you're still not getting any rejection. And when you finally do get some rejection, you don't get a signal bar. So uh, it's just really hard to know what prices are going to do in that, right in there. I've suspected we would go lower. And the reason being is because here's the high from yesterday. And here's the open. So there's a gap in between here and where we opened at 830. And generally, a lot of times, once you go to fill that gap, prices will, will try to test the previous close, the close from the previous day. So that was my secondary target once we broke lower. And you can see we did bounce right in here after filling that gap. Uh, but we ran on down. It looked like they tried to bounce off the close from yesterday. But we went a little bit lower. Finally got an overshoot, which led to a break, a new low. We had a little correction, not much of one. And... We turn lower again. I again, I just don't see any setups in here. It's too tight, and there's not a good reversal here. And then we're just kind of going sideways until it turns down. And notice, finally, we shot below the EMA. Tried to go higher once, tried to go higher twice, and we failed right there. And got that big bearish bar on a failed second entry short. Let me zoom in a little more here. So we had a failed second entry short there, basically. And we ran down. And we made another new swing high here. It was higher than that one. Then we tried to go higher once, twice. So another failure right there. And you really could look at that as two legs back uh, as well. Uh, there's a second entry there on a little larger picture. So I like that one as well. And then we had a triple test here with a bearish bar. Notice we made that eye. We tested it once. We tested it twice. Big bearish bar. If we break lower, we'll probably test those lows again. Um, you had to be careful on this one because we'd already had a break. Notice this channel. We had a break and a couple of legs down. So, But when you get a, um, a setup that's that good with plenty of room, you probably need to take it. And so then we bounced here. Um, there's a failure right here, but uh, we're closing below the EMA. I just don't think it's a good setup. It did reverse, but it's not a it's not a good setup. But if you wait a minute, you get a first entry and then a second entry long, and you could treat that as a lower high because it's lower than or a lower low because it's lower than that low. And so there's a first entry, second entry failure right there too. So that's a second entry long and a failed second entry short. And look at that signal bar. Um, you probably had to trade this one on the the breakout of the engulfing bar. You may have missed this trade. You may not have been able to get into it. That's the only long I saw today. Possible here, but the problem, um, again, there's there's a first entry, second entry, and it is off that key entry point. But the problem is we've been away from the EMA a little while, and we're getting close to these to this midline and. You can see we've been reacting off the midline and the close from yesterday a few times. So it's um, it's not a great setup. I marked it. And then that took us into 2 o'clock. And I didn't see anything. Or 2.30. I didn't see anything else I liked uh, in there. So that's pretty much what I saw. And that's not 5 minutes. I'm 8 minutes. Almost 9 minutes here. And I'm really struggling with this. So sorry that I'm not capable of doing more for you today. But there's something uh, for you to compare your trades to. And we'll just see how the week goes. If you don't hear from me, you know that I'm not feeling good enough to do a chart lesson. And I do feel better than I sound. I promise you, I sound terrible. But um, <clears throat> I'm feeling better. So, uh, But I'm not feeling good enough to press myself. I don't want to have a relapse. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, hope everybody had a great holiday. Welcome to 2022. I hope you have a great trading year this year. And uh Hopefully we'll be back on track here shortly when I can kind of get a little bit more of my strength back. But I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.